What's that? You're sick of divers and G-Shocks? Alright, let's try something different. How about a mundane railroad style watch? I just sized this. I haven't even worn it. This is the first time I've actually really worn it. I peeled all the plastic off, I sized the bracelet. As soon as I put it on, it feels like when you go shoe shopping and you put on a shoe and it just fits. Like it just feels natural. This bracelet is amazing. I love the, the small style links because it just flows around the wrist. It feels perfect on the wrist. So this is two firsts for me. This is my first mundane that I purchased from my first mass drop agreement. And everything went like, I don't know. They, they have things figured out, I guess. I don't know why I never tried it before. I Probably because I was worried that I was going to get in trouble with ordering and buying too many things on from the uh, mass drop. Because I just looked this up on Amazon. This model, which is the A667.30308.16 SBM. Whatever all that means. I'm sure that means something. On Amazon, it's $190 for the Amazon Prime. I bought this on Mastrap for $129. I think it's a I thought it was a good watch at $190. I really do. But for $129, I don't see myself selling this. So I could see where I would get in trouble. I'd have too many watches if I did the mass drop thing. So let's bust out some measurements real quick. We're looking at I think they say it's a 41. It is just under 41 mil. Even with the crown. The crown is pretty small. The crown is like, with the crown, 43.4. And you can see it's got a nice signed crown with the red accent on there. And everything is brushed, but it's not a rough brush. It's almost like a really nice, smooth, broken in feel brush. Feels great just to run your finger across it. it has a mineral crystal. And Putting the caliper on there, I can tell it has a little bit of a dome, so it's 10.2 thick. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was 22 mil. Yeah, 22 millimeter lug width. The lug to lug is like about 48 mil at all. It has a simple clasp, which um, a lot of the mundanes I was looking at had a butterfly clasp, but I can't stand butterfly clasp. I won't buy a watch with butterfly. That's uh, one of the main reasons I haven't bought a, a Omega Aquaterra but so I'm fine with this stamped class I would take this any day over a quality um, butterfly so I'm very happy with this it's got a nice signing on there the bracelet on it though I mean you can get a little bit of chatter from that but because of those small links it just it is smooth so smooth on wrist so there's a quick look at the watch, but let's talk about some maybe details. You have your day date, so I'm happy. I mean, I really like to have at least an I date, but when you throw the day in there, especially a big day like that, I'm, I'm definitely a fan. I'm usually not a big fan of white dial watches. Mundane gets a total pass, and I think I can wear this no problem. I think a mundane in any other color dial just doesn't look as appealing to me. I think it has to be the white with the black sticks and the red lollipop. This thing just looks perfect. It's so iconic for the railroad industry. And we're looking at, this has a Ronda 517 quartz movement in it. You can see the lollipop seconds hand ticking away there. So this is a very simple movement as far as I could tell. I didn't do a ton of reading on it. But it has one jewel, so it's not, you know, all decorated up. It's not like a super high class um, quartz movement. It's, but it, it's fine. It does its job. It tells me the time, gives me the day and the date. Um, the 517 does put the day and the date at those spots. So it has your 3 o'clock date, and it has your above 6 o'clock for your day. Um, it is a 100 meter water resistant. It is not a screw down crown. It just pops right out. Simple operation and it turns in any spot. So 
You can keep that end pointing up if you want. Hopefully it'll stay there. I already went over the price. It does say Swiss made on the dial. As far as I could tell, I don't know a ton of history on Mundane. I know there is a ton of history with them, but it looks like they're still family owned. And I even think I read a blurb that they are 50% or maybe over 50% owner or acquired of Luminox, which would explain probably their venture into some um, night vision lines of their watches. You can get some of these. I think they actually made even one that was basically this model, but with um, small tritium tubes around the outside and on the hands. So, but that, I mean, it obviously increases the price and everything. So I'm fine with not having any loom on this because look at the legibility on that. If there is, you know what, I'll even show you. Like I have one, I'll shut these off. And there's one bulb off to the side. It's, the room's actually pretty dark. You can still easily read that. The camera actually um, adds a little bit more light to it. But my eyes haven't even adjusted from the studio lights to how dark it is actually what I'm seeing. And I can still easily read the time without loom. So you need very little light to be able to read this. So I have no issue with that. You could easily read it with like um, a half moon moonlight. So the legibility on it, I think, gets a pass with no loom. So I don't know if I can... Those, those are all printed on... And the, the printing is nice and fine and clean and crisp. I think those are, yeah, those are printed on, right? If they're applied, they're super thin applied. I can't tell. That's got to be printed on, right? I don't know if I'm getting like an optical illusion. If Oh, well. Maybe you guys know. Let me know if you know. So there's a quick look at this guy. I'm already going too long, but I'm, I'm super happy with this purchase at $130. So there's my first mundane, my first mass drop. Super happy.